What is this? This looks very culty. Retrieve three fathomless flames from the crags behind us and ignite the crucibles. Yeah. Encrusted talisman. I think the Collecto man has a bad Collecto plan. Uh, he lifts his arm skyward. Seconds later, the Inferno engulfs him. We must make one final voyage. This time, I will be with you. Oh, I think he means to sacrifice me, right? A Baron, welcome back to Dredge, everybody. Uh, so we've been off doing a little bit of a uh, little bit of fishing, just uh, zooming around, filling up our hold, because now, now we can go to the dry dock and get a whole new hull. Do it, Blamo! Advanced hull. Oh, look at the size! Look at this! We've got a second floor. Gonna need a bigger boat. Not any chance with the biggest boat. Better engines, always, always nice. Don't have the wood for it. More lights, more nets. I definitely feel like I need more nets in my life. But I do like going fast. Uh, you know, paint my boat red and it's a fast one. Okay, we just need what? Four more metal and a bunch of wood. Okay, that seems pretty achievable. My storage. All right, let's get rid of some of those. Stone tablet, I need to go and take that to a boy. Oh man, like we could get some real big engines going on very soon. Sure, that seems pretty good. Pretty well equipped. It's a bit of a cluttered mess, but I am fine with that. Well, so we've got to go and do a whole load of, whole load of good stuff. Uh, I kind of need to fill in what my quests are. Trader! Oh, hello, what can I do for you? I'm here with some trinkets. Uh, sell... Sell some trinkets. Cash for gold! Amazing. And what can you tell me about this stone tablet? He takes the stone tablet from you and inspects it closely. Remarkable! Yes, I do believe this is a fragment of a larger arrangement. Uh, he reaches up to a high shelf and brings... Now, a similar looking stone, one more covered in dust. Some years ago, I acquired this this piece. You found this near the ruins in the Devil's Spine, don't you? Uh, yes. Well, I suspect there'll be more out there. I'll hold on to it for now. Uh, okay. In the meantime, do I have any other trinkets? I don't. Okay, so we need to find a whole load of, a whole load of bits. Find more tablets. Catch the rare fish. Find the dog at home. I feel like I could just tick that one off, because I, I found it. It has a home with me. Oh, we can even pay a little visit to the old uh, Shipwreck Cove over here, which is not what it's called, but it's what I'm calling it, because there's often some good wreckage waiting for me. Medium stock. Wow. If we can get four out of this, I don't have to get metal again. Uh, right. One more, and we are done, done, done. Okay, let's get out of here, because there's sometimes spooky boys just hanging out, trying to, uh, trying to scare me. Oh, do we want to get an eel while we're there? Nice, barbed eel. Gross. Oh, some good eels here. Yeah, 100 bucks? Nice. Wow, just wood. Wood is... Wood is king. So around here somewhere... Or some kind of fish shrine. What's that? Those dolphins. Oh, friend. Uh, yeah, I can hang with the dolphin. Do I have the the gear? Oh yeah. Oh man, yeah, we can actually fit big fellas in. Oh well, we can fit one. That's almost the end of the day. Where was the fish shrine? I feel like it was around here. No, 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 no spooky whispers, please. Oh, ghost boat. Ghost boat. Do you want to back it up? you want to back it up, bud? My boat is faster and better than yours. Okay, it's going spooky dark. I don't need that in my life. Uh, I'm happy to do a banish. We'll try and lose him in the... Uh... Oh, God. There is just mysterious rocks coming out of everywhere. Alright, that was a that was a spooky night. Jeez, God, they like all all just kicking off. 
Uh, wow, that's a lot of money for those big boys. Okay, great. Drydock, give me that good hull. Yeah, okay. Uh, rest. It just means that we're going to have more... More room for other shenanigans. Yeah, what are we looking like? Oh, so good. Okay, we got instantly got distracted from <laughs> going exploring because I wanted fish. Uh, gross. Three-headed cod. God, I kind of love it. All, All together, together, boys. Tom's a filthy, filthy land lover. Land. 500 bucks. God, that was good. Sure, just purchase more engine spaces. What does that look like in the shipwright? It's kind of wild that the entire back isn't filled up. Wait, what did I just buy? I've got three, so I can't get you guys. Nets. We could go up to, like, big troll net. Rods. Could get the mega boy. Oh, wow, mega light. God, did we just sell our boy? God, he sells for a good amount. Yeah, buy mega light. Light up the night. Oh, that feels good. That feels real good. What's this? I approach a hooded figure swathed in blue robes. Their face is barely visible. Oh, wow, I've never met this person before. Fisherman, please help. You can barely hear their rasping whisper above the wind and the waves. Fulfill the hunger. The hooded figure unfurls a paper scroll. I point to the shape. Uh, it appears to be a blue mackerel. Oh, I literally picked one up. With expert precision, they uh, plunge their hands through the gut of the fish to tear out its heart. They stuff it into their mouth unceremoniously. More, still empty. Point to another shape. A tiger mackerel. Oh, nuts. Uh, I don't have that. Sorry, bird. Tiger mackerel. Where were you? Oh, Gale Cliffs? That looks like a good boy. Nuts. But I'm bad at catching. Oh. Oh, it's whale. Whale's fine. We'll be friends. Perfect. Thank you, whale. Buddy, I'm here. I have fish hearts for you. Delicious fish hearts. Uh, they eat the thing. Almost fulfilled. Oh. Snake mackerel. I don't remember that. That looks like the thing. Devil spire. I just want to know what Billy Blue Robes is gonna gonna give me if I complete his quest. Uh, where am I going? Just the wrong way entirely. Is that a snake mackerel? Oh my god, that I think that is. Oh wow, man. Okay, right. Getting real good at fish. It's good that the guy had described, you know, roughly what the fish uh, looked like to me. Uh, yeah, here you go. The fish has barely left your hand before the splinter nails begin peeling on at its scales. They eat the heart. Okay. They head tilt up and they look at you. You take a book from inside their robes and hand it over. Hunger sated. Now I wait. Uh, they cross their arms and fall into a deep sleep. Man, that is just so much like me. God, I eat, eat, eat a big, big meal of fish hearts and uh, just instantly fall asleep. Alright, okay, where do we want to go? Just explore. Explore a little. Oh. There's more cultists. Uh, okay, there's a figure in vermilion robes. Fisherman, serve! Okay. Deliver the vessel. Produce a paper scroll. Cusk eel. Oh god, I remember those. There's wood. Wood is almost more valuable than fish now. That looks like a cusk eel. Yeah. Nuts. Great, we got one. Hello! Uh, cusk eel coming up. Delicious. Sailfish. Okay, we've done sailfish in the past. I should probably go home because it's getting spooky. Hey, I hear you sneaking up on me! This is the world's fastest thing! Ow! Oh, they busted up my good good boy. Heck. Wow. God, do you remember when we used to travel around everywhere at this sort of speed? Seems like madness. Oh, we have the wood for more rods. Sure. Buy it. 
don't know if we need the lights right now. I do have this thing. Just plus 330% fishing speed. Sure, let's put it on. <gasps> Sailfish! Perfect. You're a big boy. You're a big fella, sailfish. What do we want? I do want to get more engine, because we're doing a lot of driving around. Right, how much are those little jets? 255. Ooh, expensive. So what are we at the moment? 77 knots. Oh, we don't have one every day. What if we leave and come back? Okay, right, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to do that over a period of time. Bring down the sky! No. No, don't bring down the sky. Frilled shark, volcanic. Okay, well we're in the area, but where? Okay, how are we doing? I've probably got enough time just to cross the bay. Keep an eye out for anyone that looks a bit sharky. Oh my god, well. <laughs> great. You leave before they decide anymore. They need many more hearts. Okay, great. Nautical engineering. Okay, so they're kind of just giving me, like, slightly worse books. Uh, shipyard. Do you have... Yeah. Give me another one. Okay, do the regular folks, do you have another... Engine for me? Nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, so fast now. Uh, look at this tropical paradise. We never came here. Who are you? Ugh. Gross. Viperfish. Right. I'm going to take some with me, <laughs> just in case it turns out that the person on this island wants, like, a hammerhead shark. God, he's a big fella. That is me assuming that there are more. But seeing as we've had some for the other biomes... I feel like my my gut is in the right place here. You can't tell me there's nothing here. On this tropical paradise. A boot! <laughs> okay, love that. Well, this this has made this adventure a little less fun. Wow, I can't believe there's nothing on there. What is that? Oh, a plane! <gasps> oh! It's a crab! <laughs> Every time. Every time they get me. Those sneaky mimics. Oh, purple robes. We got it. Uh, howdy, partner. Feed. Tarpon. Okay. Okay, we're looking for a tarpon. Tarpon looked a little bit like a mackerel. Are you a tarpon? Sergeant fish. No, you're too long. You're a long boy. That's definitely not a tarpon. Grey mullet. That's a gar. Oh, I'm getting good at my fish now. Do we ever see you before? That's a crab if I ever saw one. <laughs> crab me once. Uh, shame on you. Crab me twice. Uh, it's fishing time. That's the uh, the old saying. Wood. Top on. Oh, we got it. Okay. Hello. Feed the mouth. So Horseshoe crab. Oh, nuts. Okay. Okay, our engines are as good as they're gonna be for now. Uh, God, how much are those things? Wow, a lot. We may need to get some more money. Because I could replace all of this guy because... 52 for five spaces. Oh, actually, no, that thing is more efficient. Oh, great. Do horseshoe crabs grow in mangroves? <laughs> yes, they do. Too easy. Uh, we've got a fish. You can go free. Farewell, my friends. Uh, they turn the crab over to uh, expose its soft underbelly. They scoop out its innards with a sharp fingernail. Gross. Consuming them blindly. Double gross. Consume that sky. A scroll. They want a barrel eye. An abyssal barrel eye. Where's abyssal? In the mangroves. Everywhere is shallow around there. More annoyingly, it looked a bit like a, uh... What was that noise? Okay, we're going a little bit far out to sea. I've never tried just sailing off into the distance. I've got a feeling that's probably bad news bears. This doesn't feel like a good idea anymore! As I don't see nothing. <sighs> Stellar Basin's the only place that I've seen that has had abyssal so far. Oh god, I literally am off the map. Kind of curious just to see what happens if we go, go north. I'm happy to uh, 
Oh god, I thought life literally thought that was the edge of the world. Okay, if stuff starts getting spooky, we can abort. Oh, we read. Read the book. Is there an edge of the world? Or are they doing like a Mario thing? Am I just stuck? I don't think that stuff is getting further away. Okay, they don't want to see it. They don't want us here. Okay, I teleported out. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Right. Okay. The mega eels came for us. Woof. Okay, we had our spooky scare. The Stellar Basin is the only place I can really think of that is consistently uh, abyssal. Oh, fish shrine. I can do that. Oh, we should do it with crabs. Wait, what is that? Uh, okay, there's a campsite. Fresh footprints carefully tread around each symbol. The last symbol trails off hurriedly and looks unfinished. Inspect the footprints. Who left these footprints were barefoot? The prints are large and wide, perhaps indicating they are left by a man. But you don't know much about footprints. Okay, and the symbol. Oh, nice. Rings. Oh, these look. Pretty good. Red snapper. But he's like a big one. Uh, blood snapper. Duh. What is that? I can't be a crab. A curious looking chest half submerged in the sand. Look inside. Oh, it's a bit of a map. Oh, geez. God, I completely forgot about the map. Oh, these look like little baby fish. Oh, no. <gasps> I think that's what I wanted. Oh, man. Captain Distracto distracts again even when I'm distracted onto something else the game distracts me back into doing what I'm supposed to be doing the distraction comes full circle but I was just looking for fish to fill up the fish shrine have the red snapper have an eye boy have one of these guys just filling up my fish shrine done is that good are you happy fish shrine do you need a specific fish does it all need to be coastal? I don't feel like anyone's told me. TP out of here. I'm gonna see those purple boy. Hello, how you doing? I've got your special fish. Uh, they consume the fish head first. Gross. Uh, when the fish is halfway gone, they stop and throw it aside. And they give me another book. The sky will fall. Uh, they fall asleep. Okay, delicious fish heads. Thank you, sir. What was the book? Uh, engines, pushing the limits. Got some gubbins in storage. Uh, sell it all. Uh, thank you, sir. And then tomorrow. Tomorrow we'll actually go and do the, the, the quest. The real quest that we're supposed to be doing. And not just kind of goofing around with our boat. Just having boat fun. Uh, fishmonger. It's not the most money. But I'll, I'll take it. Okay, we did it. We fully upgraded the boat. And here we are. Driving to our potential doom. I don't know what the future holds for us, but we're gonna take the the boy. We must make one final voyage. Okay. I'm entering the final phase of the game. Your progress will not be saved from this point onwards. Yes. The relics are coming with us. We should wait for the fog to thicken. With luck, the seas will remain unaware of our intentions. Okay, so we're gonna do a little spooky nighttime voyage. There's no problem with that whatsoever. God, if I knew we were waiting till, till nighttime, I would have come here. Our destination is the open expanse to the west of Greater Marrow. It's marked on the map. We must not tarry on the open waters. Not with such a significant cargo. Make haste! Uh, okay, boards my vessel. That direction? That seems fine. Uh, okay, well, there's no point collecting anything because we are doing spooky fishing. Spooky fishing with your boy. Is there any, like, evil, evil out and about tonight? Nah, it all seems fine. What could go wrong? 
and so we're here. This is the place. The place where she was taken from us. And where we can at last bring her back. Only here. And only because of what we've achieved. He opens the book and begins to read aloud. To release a lost one, frozen in time. He throws the pocket watch overboard. And tethered by the chains of the deep. He throws the necklace overboard. Bind them to this world once more. He throws the ring overboard. Open the door to the starry heavens. Uh, he slots the key into the lock of the music box. And lay the weary world to rest. He throws the music board overboard. His key left unturned. Okay, sploosh. That's, uh, that's some jetsam right there. Well, he's just not, he's not floating around. Uh... Hello? Fish? Fish wife? Oh no, but sometimes when you bring someone back, you know, something that opens a door, something comes with them. Okay, that looks like something has come with them. That is a big... That's a big, big fella. What the heck? Well, we did it. <laughs> we finished it. Wow. Okay. What the? What the heck? Okay. We ended the world. Oop. Oopsie. God, we just brought, wanted to bring the fishwife back, but we ended up ended up killing everyone. Man, what a game! What a great game. A uh, very, very much enjoyed. Oh god, like, even the town's destroyed. Everywhere is busted. Oh, heck. Oh, jeez. Oops. I guess. Well... I'm pretty sure we survived. And we had Bongo the dog with us. My beloved Bongo. Wow. Okay, and bam, that's been Dredge! What a game. Uh, man, I... God, I really, really enjoyed it. You know, it was there's a lot of fun, fun things. The upgrades, great. The music, amazing. Atmosphere, really good. Love a bit of Lovecraftian feel, you know, with my, my spooky, spooky monsters and the meaty fish. Amazing. Uh, yeah, if you have not tried this game out, God, like, give it, a, give it a go. Give it a, give it a try. Tons of fun. Uh, well, I hope you guys enjoyed, enjoyed watching Dredge. Um, I think you can tell, tell I was into it. Until next time, everybody. Be safe out there in the deep. Uh, and if you've got any game recommendations, hit me up. Uh, man, always, always open to that. Until next time, see you.